Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachachachwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I just want to do a, a quick follow up to a video uh, uploaded by the elder Manata Zakba, um, GMS South Carolina 08. Subscribe and be edified. And as you can see, the title of this video. Christian lies all Israelites rejected the Savior John 1 and 11 all right which is a, a damn lie and um, Christians uh, always run with this um, you know to uh, basically push the uh, gospel and doctrine that you know the Jews deny the Messiah all right so salvation has been open to all of the heathen nations all right, since all of the Jews, all right, or all of Israel, as they say, denied Yahweh Shai, all right, even Vocab Malone uh, pushes that notion, uh, saying that Israel is the cursed uh, olive tree that brought forth no fruit, all right, that withered away, and um, using uh, the replacement theology, now the heathen have ultimately uh, replaced uh, the promise that was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, and his 12 sons, all right, which that's far from the truth. And um, as you can see, he has John 1 and 11. And ironically, I went into this yesterday briefly, but uh, as you can see here, I'll start at um, verse 11, John 1 and 11, all right, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. All right. When you read it in the NLT, he came to his own people, the Jews. All right. Even they rejected him. All right. But 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 if you read the very next verse. It says, but as many as received him. All right. To them, he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. All right. Now, many of the Jews did reject uh, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but all of them didn't reject him. All right. Now, when he gathered uh, his disciples, uh, let's get uh, the book of uh, Matthew, the 10th chapter. All right. Because many did reject him, but not all rejected him. All right. Because who in the hell do you think Peter, uh, Andrew, James, and the rest of these uh, uh, 12 disciples who followed him were? Okay. They were Jews. Okay, and the first to follow him was Peter. Okay, Peter, right? This is uh, Matthew 10 and 2. Now the names of the 12 apostles are these. The first is Simon, who was called Peter and Andrew. All right, which what did the Lord say about uh, one of the disciples when he saw them? He said, an Israelite indeed. All right. Let's get that real quick. All right. This is one of his followers, John 1 and 47, the same ch uh, chapter that they try to uh, use. John 1 and 47. And Yahweh Shai saw Nathaniel, all right, coming to him. And he said, Behold, all right, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no gal, meaning he knew he was of the elect. All right. So, right there, you can see that here's an Israelite that didn't reject Yahweh Shai. Now, Nathaniel. All right. If you if you keep reading. All right. Is one of the 12 disciples. OK. As a matter of fact, let's go back there real quick. John 1 and 47. OK. And this is as he's gathering. All right. And Yahweh Shai. Um, he taught, you know, he went into the temple and taught, you know, and yeah, again, many did reject him. But there were many who did accept him. Okay. Nathaniel means what? Gift of the Most High. All right. Nathaniel Alaga. All right. An immediate disciple of Yahweh Shai. Okay. He is commonly thought to be the same person as Bartholomew. Okay. So Nathaniel was what? An Israelite indeed. Who was no gal. Okay. And Nathaniel said unto him, um, Whence knowest thou me? Yahweh Shai said, all right, unto him, before that Philip, 
uh, called thee, when thou was under the fig tree, I saw thee. Nathaniel answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. All right. So that, that, that's one. But all of the 12 disciples were uh, followers of Yahweh were all Israelites. OK, Peter himself. OK, let's get a, an example of that. Peter himself, if you remember in the book of Acts, the 10th chapter, all right, because, you, you know, prophecy said that the tents of Judah would have to be raised up first. OK, let's get that real quick in the book of uh, Zechariah 12. Real quick, Zechariah 12 and 7. OK. It says the Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first. All right. That happened back then when Yahweh Shai came on the scene. All right. Because remember, you know, um, from the Assyrian captivity, the northern kingdom, you know, eventually went to the Americas. All right. And from the, uh, the you know, then the Babylonian captivity was Judah, Benjamin and Levi. Of course, you had a few remnants of uh, the northern kingdom scattered. All right. But it was primarily Judah. OK, uh, who stuck to the traditions. All right. Through, you know, the uh, Persians and the Medes, the Greeks, you have the uh, Maccabeus uh, dynasty. OK, Judas Maccabeus, you know, there were Levites. All right. That was of the house of Judah, Judah, Benjamin and Levi. All right. Entering into the Roman Empire, the fourth beast. All right. It was uh, those of the house of Judah who was sticking hardcore to the traditions. As a matter of fact. Um, let's get that real quick. I believe it's in the book of Amos or Hosea. Hosea 11 and 12. Ephraim compassed me about with lies. Because when you go through the uh, split that happened after Solomon. Okay. Um. You know, you had the uh, those who sat on the throne of David, all right, and of about, I say, 19 kings, which one was Athalia, <laughs> which was actually a woman who, who sat on the throne for a, a quick minute. Um, only six did what was right, Josiah being the last, okay? So those of the house of Judah, all right, some of them remained faithful, but when you go to the northern kingdom, okay, pretty much all of them did evil. When you go through the king, so Hosea 11 and 12, Ephraim compassed me about with lies and the house of Israel with deceit. But Judah yet ruleth with God and is faithful with the saints. So the house of Judah, OK, stuck to the traditions, as you can see, see here, Zechariah 12 and 7. And Yahweh also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. OK, and that happened back then when Yahweh Shai came on the scene. OK, his heart, his 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 uh, immediate followers. OK, were of the circumcision. He gathered from amongst the circumcision. His disciples were all Israelites who were raised in the customs. All right. Hell, John the Baptist. All right. Who was circumcised on the eighth day came from a family line. All right. That 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 goes directly back to Aaron. He didn't deny Yahweh Shai. All right. He 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 bigged up Yahweh Shai. He spoke well of Yahweh Shai. So all the Jews didn't deny Yahweh Shai. All right. But going to Peter, the, the first follower of Yahweh Shai and Acts, the 10th chapter. OK, to give you a, a quick. Um, when he thought that this vision meant to actually eat something, this is Acts 10 and 13. And there came a voice unto him saying what rise peter kill and eat okay kill and eat all right which this is symbolic all right this is speaking of uh ultimately putting off that mindset that the uh the jews had towards the gentiles those israelite foreigners all right who weren't raised in the customs because you have the circumcision which were raised in the customs and natural branches and then you have the wild olive tree which are the israelites who have been scattered and had fell away to Greco-Roman customs. But that's a whole nother lesson for a whole nother time. But watch what Peter says here. But Peter said, not so, Lord, I have not eaten anything that is common or unclean. I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. Let's read this in the NLT. No, Lord, Peter declared, I have never eaten anything that our Jewish laws have declared impure or unclean. Why 
is Peter saying that? Because he was raised in the customs. He was of the circumcision. All of the 12 disciples were of the circumcision and did not deny Yahweh Shai. Okay? And as Yahweh Shai went preaching through these regions in Jerusalem, Judea, and so forth, okay, it was the lowly, all right, who pretty much were, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, accepting of him. Okay? The lowly. All right, the, 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 the downtrodden, which was preparing the disciples, all right, that these would be the type of people, all right, that are going to what? Follow your words because he would eventually send them out. All right, but um, let's get uh, the book of uh, John 10 and 22 real quick because people like to focus on this aspect because, yes, again, the Jews gave Yahweh Shai hell. Okay. This is uh, uh, John 10 and 22, and it was at the uh, it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of Dedication, which the Feast of Dedication. All right. Um, Hanukkah comes from the Apocrypha. I just wanted to put that out there. All right. <laughs> it says and Yahweh Shai walked in the temple. All right. In the Solomon's porch. All right. So he's in Jerusalem. OK. Then came the Jews round about to him, saying unto him, how long dost thou make? us to doubt if thou be Hamashiach tell us plainly and Yahweh Shai answered and told said to them I told you and ye believe not the works that I do in my father's name they bear witness of me but ye believe not so many of did didn't believe okay ye are not of my sheep as I said unto you so yeah many of the Jews did deny Yahweh Shai right and if you keep reading you know there's this back and forth all right. And eventually the Jews, verse 31, took up stones to try to stone him. So, again, yeah, many of the uh, Jews did deny Yahweh Shai. OK, but again, many of them accepted him. All right. As we're showing you. All right. And then many of these Jews who denied him and did have him, uh, uh, you know, to be crucified. OK, when you get the book of Acts, the second chapter, which is starts at the day of Pentecost. All right. So these are the are Jews. OK, who were gathering for the Feast of Pentecost because that's a high holy day. OK. And. There there's a particular sermon Peter gives. All right. To these particular Jews. All right. Who were gathered for the Pentecost. All right. And when you read it, he's pretty much cutting them. OK, this is uh, verse 14. But Peter standing up with the eleven lifted up his voice and said unto them, ye men of Judea and all that dwell in Jerusalem, be it known unto you and hearken unto my word. So he's speaking unto those of the circumcision. All right. Um, who ultimately were what? Gathered for the Feast of Pentecost. Okay. So, and there was a great miracle that happened. All right. Because you have to understand what did, what did Yahweh Shai tell his men? All right. In Acts 1 and 8. All right. It says, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria. OK, so they would teach in the lands of Israel because Israelites were here. All right. And unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And then it would eventually go. All right. Unto the places where Israel was scattered. All right. And then eventually to the uttermost parts of the world over here and future prophecy over here in America. OK, so it started here in Acts, the second chapter, as they're in Jerusalem. Judea. OK, and as you continue to read the book of Acts, they went to Samaria. All right. And then, of course, we know that uh, uh, they went to the Israelites who were scattered in these various different regions, these Gentiles. OK, to preach the message. All right. But the notion that all of the Jews deny Yahweh Shah is wrong, because even some of those who had him crucified and denied him. OK, after this great miracle happened and Peter gives this sermon, let's just jump to the point because I don't have that much time. OK. Acts 2 and 36, therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that the most high have made the same Yahweh Shah whom ye have crucified, both Lord and, Ham and Messiah. OK. Verse 37. Now, when they heard this, now, when they heard Peter's sermon, they were pricked in their heart 
and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. See, for the promises unto you and your children and to all that are afar off, all right, which when you get the book of Ephesians, the second chapter, those who are far off, all right, are going to be brought back through the blood of Yahweh Shai as well. Okay. And as many as uh, who our Lord God shall call. Okay. Because the Gentiles were scattered. All right. Following after these various different customs. But many of them would turn from those uh, customs and idols and follow Yahweh Shai through his disciples going out and preaching. His apostles going out and preaching. That's what Paul was set up for. Okay. But that's another lesson for another time. This is to prove that all the Jews didn't deny Yahweh Shai. So right here. OK. All right. As you keep saying, keep reading, he says, and with many other words, did he testify and exhort saying, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And in the same day, all right, there were added unto them about three thousand souls. See, so these were Jews who, who initially denied Yahweh Shai, repenting and following Yahweh Shai. OK point blank period <laughs> point blank period man okay let's get the book of acts six because again jew can either be the tribe of judah all right but at the time of the babylonian captivity the jews all right judah benjamin and levi were just called the jews okay and many of these Christians don't know that. They just say the Jews denied Jesus. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Many of them did, but all of them didn't. The Jews were what? Those who were raised in the customs, the circumcision. As we just saw, Peter let you know, I ain't never ate no unclean food. Why? Because he was raised as a Jew. He was raised in the customs. Point blank period. Okay, Nathaniel, all right, was an Israelite. Who, and whom was no gal in the eyes of Yahweh Shai. His followers were Israelites who didn't reject him, who followed him of the circumcision. The tents of Judah had to be raised up first. All right. Which that prophecy can also twofold be speaking of this time where Judah would be raised up first to go out and preach his word. But that's another lesson for another time. Let's get Acts 6 and 7. Okay. Acts 6 and 7, all right, seven men chosen to serve, and this is where Stephen comes into play. Stephen was an Israelite, okay? Yeah, Timothy was an Israelite, but his father was a Greek. His father was a Hellenized Jew, okay? And just like Abraham, okay, who his father, <laughs> you know, it wasn't uh, Hellenized, but he was following idols, Terah, all right? But Abraham was of the, the, the chosen lineage of the sons of God. Timothy was of the, ch the chosen lineage of the sons of God, the Israelites. But his father had fell away to idols. But Timothy, all right, heard the word and came and followed uh, uh, Yahweh Shai through Paul, man. OK, let's keep reading. Whom they set before the Acts 6 and 6, whom they set before the apostles and when they had prayed they laid their hands on them and the word of the most high increased and the number of disciples okay uh multiplied greatly in, Jer in jerusalem greatly because who was in jerusalem the jews raised in the customs and they looked down on the gentiles who had fell away to idols but all right they were all being prepared for the influx of the Gentiles who would eventually come in, which are Israelites, because that's who the promise is to. Okay, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and his sons. That's who that land is promised to. Point blank, period. What does it say here? All right, and the number of the disciples, all right, in Jerusalem multiplied greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Let's read this in the NLT. So God's message continued to spread. The number of believers greatly increased in Jerusalem. 
because that's where they would, where did he tell them they would go preach first? Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the world. Okay, the number of believers greatly increased in Jerusalem and many of the Jewish priests were converted too. So they left off from the mindset, all right, of that first covenant, all right, standard. You have to be righteous and you have to do this, you have to do that, outward appearance, and understood that, look, it's through Yahweh Shai that we're brought back to the Most High. So many of the Jewish priests were converted. Many of the, 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 the Jews followed Yahweh Shai. Many denied him. All right. There was a back and forth between the circumcision. All right. And the followers of Yahweh Shai and the circumcision and the uncircumcised uh, Jews who eventually. All right. Turned away from those idols. That's the controversies you see in the Holy Scriptures, man. So many of the Jewish priests, many of the priests were obedient to the faith. Let's get Acts 20 and 21. Just a few scriptures, because we can go way deeper into this, but, you know, or, uh, Acts 21 and 20, real quick, it says, let's see here, in 19, and when he has saluted them, he declared particularly what things had wrought among the Gentiles, among the Gentiles, because the Israelites would be scattered among the Gentiles and turned to idols, right? among the heathen among the gentiles okay even in acts 15 real quick what was the sentence when they had the council about how to handle these uncircumcised jews who were coming into the fold the gentiles acts 15 and 19 it says wherefore my sentence is that we trouble them not which from among the gentiles are turned into god because what would happen according to prophecy the seed of israel will be scattered among these various different nations and turn to idols. That's the Gentiles. Okay, it's in the curses. Okay, it's in the curses. Deuteronomy 28. Okay, and 64. And ye shall, the Lord God shall scatter thee among all people from one end of earth even unto the other. And there shalt thou serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Okay. So going back here to Acts 20 and 21 or 21 and 20. All right. It says, and when they heard it, they glorified God and said unto him. Let's see. Is that what I'm looking for? Said unto him, thou seest, brother, how many thousands of the Jews. All right. <laughs> There are which believe and they are zealous. They are all zealous after the law. All right. And they, let's see, is it 20 and 21? And they all informed and they are all informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles to forsake the law of Moses. This is something else. All right. 20 and 21. Let's see here. see as a matter of fact well, this is what i'll do so i wrote these scriptures down but i was rushing so i knew i was going to go into this uh let's get Acts six and seven again and then let's do a cross reference yeah acts 21 and 20 and when they heard it they glorified the lord and said unto them thou seest brother how many thousands of jews which uh, there are which believe. Give me one second here. Goodness gracious. Okay. And they are all zealous after of the law. All right. Jews, which but thousands of Jews there are which believe. So all the Jews didn't deny Yahweh Shai. That was the purpose of this lesson. See what it says here in Luke 2. Yeah, this is when Yahweh Shai gathered his uh, disciples, I believe. And we'll answer it. All yep. right. So the person says, I agree. So lock you. Uh, technical difficulties. But that was the point of this video. All right. To show you that uh, all of the, 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 the Jews didn't deny you. I was shy, man. OK. Point blank, period. OK. Let's get see here. I wrote this down. Luke 6 and 12. Let's see what that says. 
Yeah, this is when he chose his disciples. But that was the point of this video. All of the Jews did not deny Yahweh Shai. All right, that, that's a damn lie. All right, and Christians continue to run with that to push this notion that, you know, there's replacement theology. And let's get a prophecy to cut that real quick. All right, Jeremiah 33. Let's read, let's go to the NLT. Jeremiah 33 and 24. Have you noticed what people are saying? The Lord chose Judah and Jerusalem and then abandoned them? This is what people are saying. They are sneering and saying that all that Israel is not worthy to be continued as a nation. Vocab says this. This is what a lot of Christians say. Okay, even Israelites try to take hold to this madness. Okay. They think there's just going to be the 144,000, uh, uh, which are Israelites, and then the, the large multitude is all heathen. So the Lord is only going to save 144,000 Israelites, but a large multitude that can't be numbered of the heathen. Completely gone. All right. <laughs> and no heathen will get salvation. Salvation, all right, is the second covenant, the new bodies, all right, dominion and rulership under Yahweh Shai. Okay, the, the, the receiving of the promised land. All right, but let's read this again. Have you noticed what people are saying? The Lord chose Judah and Jerusalem, then abandoned them. They are sneering and saying that Israel is not worthy to be continued as a nation or counted as a nation. But this is what the Lord says. I will no more reject my people than I would. Uh, I would no more reject my people than I would change my law that govern. All right night and day all right earth and sky the sun and the moon which goes back to jeremiah 31 okay i will never abandon the descendants of jacob or david my servant or change the plan that david's descendants will rule all right the descendants of abraham isaac and jacob all right instead i will restore them to their land and have mercy on them because that land was promised to the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let's get uh, Genesis 35 and 10. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall no more be called Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. All right? And he called his name Israel, Yahshua Allah. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. All right? Which each tribe is as a nation. The kings will come out of his loin, all right, through the, the, the tribe of Judah, okay? And the land which I gave unto Abraham, Isaac, unto thee will I give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land, all right? So this is a promise that was given unto Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all right? And that fell on the head of his seed, okay? No heathen nation will partake in that promise, okay? But they will uh, benefit from the rulership. You know, of course, after, you know, they serve, all right, and eventually follow our laws, but Edomites will be through, okay? So this is a damn lie, okay? And this brother cut, cut, cut it to the bone, all right? Brought out some great points. Watch this video, okay? Yeah, yeah, John the Baptist. John the Baptist was baptizing and preaching to Israelites, Gabar Kalab. Acts 13 and 24, when John had first preached before his coming of the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. Again, well, even when you deal with John in Luke 1, okay, Luke the first chapter, what was it, what did the angel Gabriel tell his father? Speaking of John the Baptist. Luke 1 and 15, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. Huh? Many of the Israelites, he will turn to the Lord their God. Okay. <laughs> so. You know. Watch this video. And hopefully I'll be edified, man. On to the next. Shalom.